new ideas, thoughts, actions that we have to perform, we want a way to capture those so we can clarify them later. Inside of TickTick, this is easy to do. If you remember from the first lesson, we set up the inbox here as our default list. So all you have to do is open TickTick, navigate to that list, and here you can just add any item and press enter to have it live in there. You can see now there's one item and to the right here, you have an option to clarify that, but that's something we'll do in a later lesson. First, let's look at some other ways to capture. TickTick has something really unique, which is a desktop widget, which is pretty unheard of in Windows applications, at least the ones that I've seen. So here I have TickTick in the system tray, and what you can do is right click and press add list widget. This defaults to the inbox, and so if I minimize my TickTick application, you'll start to see that I have this widget here, I can move it around freely, and I can add items to the inbox directly without even using the application, without using the software. So this is a really wonderful way to capture items to the inbox super quickly. And the same is true for mobile. So download TickTick on your mobile phone and you'll see it has a similar widget that you can use right from the start page of your phone and also easily add items to it. Next up, let's see how we can capture something from the web. So here we're on a website and we wanna capture this to read later. I've downloaded the TickTick Chrome extension, which also works on Brave, my browser of choice. And you can see that it's visible here. So all we have to do is log in. And once we're logged in, what we wanna do is right click the extension and press add to TickTick. From there, you will see it automatically applies the markup from the page that we're on. We can even add a description read this for later, and we can just add it to the inbox. And there we go, that's how you capture a website. The same is true for the mobile app. So there you can just use the standard share functionality on your phone, whether it's inside of the YouTube app or anything else, and select TickTick as the app to share it to. And lastly, we wanna take a look at how to capture emails. So I'm in Gmail here, and the Chrome extension actually also adds a functionality to Gmail. So here I've sent myself an email just to test. I can press add to TickTick. -tick. And from there too, it will add the web version of the email as a task to complete. And it also includes the body as a description. So that's really handy. You can just read the email directly from TickTick -tick itself. We press add, it's been saved, and there we go. Now you can see on the widgets, we have all the items we've captured. So if it's pretty full, that's helpful. We open our computer, we see the inbox is pretty filled up. Maybe a good time to start clearing it out and process it. I'm really impressed with TickTick's processing capabilities. I really like how the email, for example, showed up in full when we forwarded it into our inbox. And that's just one example, of course. You know, we saw how we can capture uh, other items from the web or just share items via the social share functionality on our mobile phone. So I hope that you are now also comfortable with the idea of capturing everything wherever you are, whenever, into TickTick. But if you run into any issues, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Otherwise, move on to the next lesson, which is all about organizing.